saying that uh, that it's by the meeting there's some kind of uh, opening of the door so the kids can use the libraries after school and to have tutors for them or maybe uh, opening the, the automatic the automobile shop and the printing shop so they can at least get practice while you know drop out and such if you can uh, if you can show us the need for that well we'll certainly be glad to take it up and you should take this up with our curriculum department <laughs> We'll be happy to open our schools uh, for 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night if, we, if there's a need there for us. All right, thank you. You bet. What are your intentions in the very near future of putting up some grass over here and some flowers that you've been thinking, talking about out there in South Dallas? <laughs> we have very, uh, quite a few areas in West Dallas right here in this area, as a matter of fact, that need some attention. Yeah. Uh, Pete, I'm sure that there is a beautification plan for this area. However, I do not work directly with the maintenance division or the park division. But I certainly will get with Mr. Philip Huey in the morning, and we'll get back in touch with you and give you an answer to your question. I'm sorry I can't give you a definite answer right now. This is true. I think now is the time for our people to realize that we have to push the city council and everyone involved to get the streets paved in this area. It's hard on our tires. The poor people have to buy those tires. It's time that I think we should do something now. I think the people should go to their representatives and really push. And I'll be willing to help in everything I can. Do you have any comments, Mr. McCarthy? Yes. All the remaining unpaved streets in uh, La Bajada are being engineered at the present time, and Pete is working the petition. I can't hear you. Paving the, is it possible to pave the streets in industrial zones?